la 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 wow why didn't i bring something to put this phone on i need to put the phone up somewhere so i can i won't have to hold it um why does my life have to be so unorganized right now like why um What up? What's up? What's good? You know what? I'm gonna go get some electrical tape. No, I don't want to do that. That's not gonna work. Cause what would I tape it to? Hmm. And we need to fix this uh, chair. It's like leaning to the side here. Oh gosh. Hmm. I got an idea. Ugh. I'll put this chair up here and then I'll lean the phone here. Bam, got y'all folks up on live stream. Working good enough. So what is up everyone? I don't know what's up with this, this chair I'm sitting on. Like one of the legs is really jacked up and it's making this whole thing like wopsided. <laughs> oh man, this leg is like completely broken off. Yeah, apparently this was a whoa, apparently this was a random live stream. I'm trying to figure out a way to just sit here anyway. <laughs> this is such a disaster, guys. I'm not going to Area 51. I'm just gonna sit here and I'm just gonna like fall over, watch. Can you guys hear me now? What's good, what's good, what's good? I think I'm good for now. I think if I just sit and not move too much, like I won't move. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> something like that. All right, I'm good, I got it now. So what's up, y'all? What is good, everyone? Haven't done a live stream in a little bit. I usually try to do a live stream like once a week. I think it's been like two weeks or something. So what is good? Tell me something new. So what I want to know is what's going on with this whole bill in California? If anyone is watching this from California, like this whole rideshare bill in California, what's going on with that? See I feel like this is not working for some reason. Nobody's from Cali, no one's here. There are some cute girls that are Um yeah, I guess so. Oh, there are some cute ones. There's one really cute one that just came in. But I, I've been talking to this local this this local chick lately. She's actually pretty cool. I think we may hang out tonight. I don't know for sure. You're from California. You don't follow the news. I feel you on that. The news can be um, on the depressing side, if you know what I mean. Israel here, what up Israel? Now I can like read your messages, I got them on my other phone here. What up from Estonia? So what's up with this whole Area 51, y'all? Are people for real getting ready to go there? Do you still work caviar? Yeah, I still work caviar, I'm just not in the US right now. But like, I didn't get fired or anything or deactivated as, as we would call it in the, the app community, because people don't get fired. Because you was never hired, you just like signed up and you were accepted, which is not like being hired. Because when, you, when you're hired, you do things like fill out an application and all that. Is 
it's a stupid meme that got out of control. Oh, it's just a meme. How do you make money when you're traveling overseas? Um, I just, I mean, I make money from YouTube and I also make a lot of money when I'm back home and save a lot of money. So that way I can travel for long periods of time. The stream's getting stuck. You need to get up when you in NYC. I need to come to NYC. I don't know. Maybe because there's a hell of people using the internet or something like that. I don't know. Um, you should do a live vlog at Area 51. That's funny, yo. That's so funny, Area 51. I don't know why everybody's everybody's talking about that recently. Oh yeah, I guess you guys said it wasn't mean. But you know what? It's not that secretive because Russia, Russia recently flew a plane over Area 51 to take photos, and it successfully took photos. So it's not really secret because all the secret stuff is gonna happen like underground or in mountains. You know, you're not gonna see it from the air. I'm leaving out of Area 51 with a spaceship. Well, they want to do it because they want to see if it's aliens. You know, they want to check out if aliens are there. I don't get it. Why would you want to go mess with aliens if they are there? I wouldn't want to mess with aliens, yo. That sounds, sounds terrifying. And caviar, DoorDash, Uber Eats. I think people are not going to show up. They're just doing it for the fun of it. But why would they say that they're going to show up, you know? And think about it, it's not the easiest thing to show up to. It's in the middle of nowhere for the most part. We well, gotta be near Vegas. This stream is not very busy right now, yo. Maybe it's because I'm drinking beer. <laughs> Maybe I should have just said uh, just live stream. I could probably change the title of it. Yes, 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 yes. Who wins? Yeah, Alex got a new electric skateboard. Yeah, I seen this video the other day. Uh, here, bro, but vacationing in Greece and Italy. Oh, Bay Area folks in Greece and Italy right now. That's what's up. How is Macedonia? Um, I really like it here. It's very chill. It's very. It's a very um. People are very friendly. Um, yeah, people are very friendly. The women are beautiful. Um, it's really cheap. It's really nice. What time is it there? It is, it's 5.13. Uh, um, why would, would you encourage more people to travel to Macedonia? Well, the thing is, I, I probably won't talk about it much in my videos because I don't want people to know about it honestly because like, it's such a cool place it's such a hidden gem that I'm not gonna like put it on blast yes yeah, so I like it here. but I don't want to put it on blast and I don't want everybody coming here so obviously I like it because I've been here for a month and a half, you know, and it's just real chill, you know, people are very friendly and damn, beautiful women, they definitely love chocolate here, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice, yo, oh, it's getting choppy again, this one won't be a long stream, I'll probably just go for like 15 minutes, because, um, yeah, I'll probably just go for like 15 minutes, because I want to go meet up with, there's a couple, I got a couple of American friends that live here, I'm gonna go meet up with them in a little bit and just probably hang out, chill for a little bit. Have you ever volunteered at a hostel? Yeah, um, um, that would be something pretty cool to do is volunteer at a hostel. Oh, the stream's getting laggy. Gosh, man. Oh, gosh, this stream is so lame, yo.
All right, so I'm just gonna end the stream, guys. Like, it's lagging really bad. It's lagging really bad. I can't control that. So, um, I guess I'll have my beer with the homies inside, but. We've <laughs> some of us. <laughs> Y'all funny. It's not that bad. Don't go. I want to stay for a little bit, you know. It's kind of hot outside. Today wasn't hot like it has been. The past week it hasn't been that bad. How do you fund your travels? Just just work and travel. Like I, I I'll tell you easy how I'm gonna fund the next trip. I'm gonna fund all of next year of traveling. I'll just tell you how I'll do it. Very simple. Well, next year I'm gonna travel completely different. I'm not gonna travel as as, as frequent as I've traveled in the past. Next year, I'll probably go somewhere and stay for like two, three months and then go somewhere else and stay two, three months instead of going to three countries in one month or four countries in one month. I'm going to just stay longer and just do it that way. That's kind of the, the, the new game plan because it is much cheaper. Oh, my gosh. And you, you do get a better connection with the place. And like right now, it's it's just ideal. Like it's summertime, it's hot season. I really don't want to be traveling around Eastern Europe. And it's just, it's just pretty dope because, man, there's so many freaking girls around, yo. Like, I just walked to the store to get some beers and you just see like hella tourists, like just girls everywhere, y'all. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's pretty dope. I mean, but there's so many places in the world like that. So I really like it. Um, so what I was gonna say, so my plan is I was gonna work in San Francisco like September, October, November, December. Now, I'm pretty sure my plans are gonna change greatly. What up? I'm just live streaming. This is how I got yeah, yeah, I got a beer. I got another one in there for you. Yeah. Um, so how the plan's gonna work is I'm just gonna go back home you know, work for a couple months. I'll definitely stay probably September and October. Don't exactly know if I'll be there for November or December. It really depends because November and December, it rains a lot. And I really don't want to be driving ever since I got that speeding ticket going 67 and 35. I don't want to be driving. So like, I'll probably just be like on a scooter or a bike you know, making money in San Francisco for a little bit. And um, I got some other things I'm gonna work on too. And then after that, I'll, I'll just travel, like I, I plan to travel from January. I haven't made it like an exit date, but like I'll just travel from January on. It's pretty much what, what I got planned. But yeah, I'll just go back to SF and just work like 12 hour days. 12 hour days for like 30 days in a row. I'll definitely do that when I get back. 12 hours, 30 days in a row, you know? And then from there, save a bunch of money, take like a week off, maybe go somewhere else, and then come back, work like three weeks straight, 12 hours, you know, every day. And then from there, it'll be like November. And I'll figure out what I'll do in November. Maybe I'll go home and stay in Tennessee for a little bit, because that'd be pretty chill to go stay in my hometown. But then I don't know if I get bored in my hometown. And I would probably spend a lot of money in my hometown because like, I gotta have a way to get around, you know, cause it's so spread out and I don't have a car. So it'll probably just be cheaper for me to go like travel abroad. But I wanna see family, you know, but then I don't have a car. So what the fuck am I gonna do? Like maybe I'll buy a car. No, I don't wanna do that. Like. I, I don't know. What am I going to do? I'm going to go home in freaking November. I don't know. Anybody feel me on this? Froze up big time. Uh, sorry about that. Y'all still there? Sorry about that. Anyway, um, 
yeah, I don't know what's going on. The internet's like not so good right now. I think it's the location I'm in. But yeah, that's pretty much what I got going on. <laughs> Yo, anyone want to uh, travel in January? I'm not talking about a group travel. I I'm not talking about a group trip, I'm like a solo travel. Anyone want to go to Southeast Asia out there? And I'm, like, what I mean by that, I'm not talking about a group. I'm talking about two people or something. Because a lot of people like were talking about Thailand and any other place. I mean, a bunch of people were interested in South Africa. But the problem with South Africa is it's far away, yo. I mean, Asia is, is uh, I mean, Thailand is pretty far away too. Africa's mad far away. Oh, there's no audio? Is that what's going on now? I hear audio on this hand. There's audio. Yes, yeah, so like, I like I do online work, but the reason why I want to come is because there are apps and there's certain things that make like referral money from and stuff like that, and there's certain like product reviews that I can only like. I meet a lot of travelers and they leave their country and they don't want to go back to their country, you know, because maybe because their country's fucked up. But like, I don't mind going back home, yo. Like, I live in freaking San Francisco for crying out loud. <laughs> It's not a bad place to go back to. How many days can you travel for if you work 30 days? Oh, so if I work 30 days, I could probably travel for like a, a couple months, yo. It really depends on the country. And then it really depends on how I'm traveling. Because right now, since I've been here in Macedonia, I haven't really... It's been really chill. Like I haven't really been, been like making food and like maybe having a couple beers. Just I'm not like spending a lot of money, you know. Some countries like oh, when I was in South Africa, I spent way more money because the thing about South Africa is it's easy to spend money though. Like they got so much stuff there. Like okay, vegan food. It's so many vegan restaurants in Cape Town. Like there's some days I'll just go from like restaurant to restaurant to restaurant just because it's something to do, you know? But when I come to a place like here, there are vegan restaurants, but they're not the ones like jumping up and down, let's go here, let's go there, you know? I mean, they're, they're okay, but it's nothing like Cape Town, the scene. And then also in Cape Town, I was drinking way more because the alcohol is like, I want at least like shots were like cheaper in Cape Town versus here. And here, like I haven't even really drinking any shots. Like Cape Town, I was getting wasted quite a bit. And then Cape Town, there's there's so many things to buy there. Okay, like, you constantly got people selling you stuff. Like, hey, you want a headband? You want to hit 100 Rand? You want some clothes? You know, 200 Rand? You want this African shirt? Oh, you, you from the US? You need this, man. You know, like, there's always stuff to buy. Like, here, it's not like that. Like, you know. Uh, also, South Africa, um, I took Uber a lot. And also uh, the the buses, you know, the buses are really cheap. Uber's cheap, but here I haven't taken any any Ubers, or taxis, or um, I think I, I took a taxi like, you know, to go out to party, but like just in the daytime, like, no, none of that. So it makes it like cheaper, you know. And that's why that's why I, that's why New York is cheap to me because I don't really have to spend too much money on things I have to spend it myself. Oh, my bad. Let me, I'll read these. How much does weed cost there? You could probably get like maybe three or four grams for like $20. Um, I miss, I miss NYC. What's the best company to work for? Caviar, DoorDash, Postmates. It really depends on what city you're in. Because in LA, I hear a lot of people say Postmates is better. But in SF, I hear people say caviar or Uber Eats. And everyone isn't willing to give you a ride. Also, like when I go back home, the thing about, like, I don't want to ask people for rides, you know? Like, 
I don't want to ask people for rides, yo. And also when I go back home, it's more like people... See, the thing, the one, one reason why I always avoid going home, yo, is because life in California is, like, very different. Um, back home, you know, people get married, like, 25. They have kids before 25, you know? They settle down, like, like faster. People get jobs and, like, they'll... I got, I got friends, they've worked the same job for 15 years, you know? And 15 more years, they can retire. So when I go around people like that, yo, you know, I get, I sort of get spent, you know what I mean? Because they looking at me like, yeah, I got a Mercedes sitting outside and you ain't got no Mercedes. But, you know, that's how they show off. But I show off in another way. I show off by like making Facebook posts like, yo, who wants to go to Australia for the whole month of February next year? Like I show off with time, yo. Like, I don't need to be a slave to the material things. Because, yeah, you do got Mercedes, but check this out. You pay a car payment every month, and you can't go travel. You can't take no time off. You can't spend time with your kids because you got to pay that car payment, yo. At the end of the day, you the slave, not me. <laughs> you got to work the system. Don't get worked by the system. So, like, me not having, you know, flashy things, like, people look down on me. But I go back home and be like, <laughs> my knees full slow, yo. <laughs> They're going to be here their whole life. Not even accepting super chat. What do you mean, Marty? Are you trying to tell me something? Hey, I'm from Macedonia. How long are you here for in my country? Are you going to go to Stegra or Orchard? Um, yeah, I probably will. I'll be here for probably like another. I don't want to say how long I'm gonna be here, but I'll be here for a little bit longer. Are you? What part of town are you in? Are you in Skopje? What part of the country? I can't believe most people work all year and only get two weeks off. You know, that's why I don't have a job, because I can't work and get two years off, yo. Like, I go crazy. Like, what am I going to... No, work and get two weeks off. I would love to work one year and get two years off. That would be legit. Don't work that way. Are you going to London? Yo, I'm going to London, right? Like, I will. It'll be the... Opposite. Like, I get that. That's probably the most asked question right now is, like, when are you going to London? Like, I am pro I promise you, when I go there, like, I will tell you guys the same day. Like, I'm, I won't, like, beat around the bush and act like I'm somewhere else when I'm somewhere else. And yeah, I'll, I'll be down to do a collaboration video. But you gotta, like, literally hit me up. Like, you gotta, like, hit me up in Instagram D DMs. If you want to get my attention in Instagram DMs, send a video message, right? Don't send, like, hey, Jermaine, how are you? Like, send a straight video message, like, so I can hear your voice, you know? And that'll get that'll get my attention faster than sending a, um, a hello, how are you? Because I get a, lo a lot of hellos, how are you? Or I watch your video, thanks, you know? When are you? I don't know when I'm going to NYC. I really don't. Like, I, I don't know. I got no idea. Because I want to take the skateboard if I go. I don't know. You know what I'll do? Maybe I should do this. I'm gonna go, when I get off this live stream, I'm gonna go email these Chinese folks and I'm gonna see, can they send my skateboard to New York? And if they can send me a skateboard to New York, instead of flying from London, I can fly from London to New York and then stay in New York for like two weeks. And then I can take the train from New York all the way back to California with the skateboard. That's what I'll do. Um, I'll, I'll contact them and see, can they send it to New York? Cause if they can send it to New York, I'll be good. Cause I don't want to go to New York with no skateboard. Because how am I gonna get around? I'd have to take the subway like everybody else. I ain't trying to take no subway in New York. The fuck I look like taking the subway in New York, you know? Or a taxi. Like I ain't got time for that. Take too long. The skateboard is so much faster, yo. You get from like Harlem to like Wall Street in 30 minutes max. On a train, it's gonna take you one hour. On a taxi, maybe 45 minutes, you know? You wanna work with me? You can borrow Alex's skateboard. I probably can borrow Alex's skateboard. Hey, don't try to tempt me. I might, might just fly straight to New York after after this trip. But I, I only stay in New York for about a week. Man, let me think about that. Oh, James, do you live in the Bay Area? Or do you live in New York? 
I'm talking to this dude, like, this dude that keep writing on these messages. No, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> oh, um, caviar is rocking in NYC. Jermaine, I think I'm the only girl on your chat. You probably are the only girl on my chat. You know, I wonder what happened to Jenny. <laughs> the Israel always they always comments on every single YouTube video. I wonder what is she? She must be working and doing some secret service work today or something. Because whenever you ask the Israeli where they live or what they do for work, they never tell you, especially if they live in Israel. Probably because they're doing some top secret. Do you know the local language? I don't know the local language. This is not a very popular language to learn. Like once I leave from here, I'm, I probably won't be using Macedonian in any other country. I, the language is not Macedonian, by the way. It's, it's close to that. I just know for sure it's not Macedonian. It's something else. I can't think of the name of it. James the in Wasu. Believe it or not, um, most of my subscribers used to be guys. But about 25% of them are women now, which I find in insane because why would women want to watch me, you know? Like, because usually the stuff I talk about and the type of things that are on my channel, it, it appeals to guys and not really girls. But like a quarter of subscribers are chicks. So that's. Born and raised on the Lower East Side. I love the East Side. I love the West Side too. Actually, no, I, I, let me take that back. I like the West Side more than the East Side. I'm not trying to knock you because you live on the East Side, but I'm just saying I like the West Side for skateboarding because they, they built that nice, smooth bike trail and you can just freaking skate the whole trail. But the East Side, actually, the East Side has, they just got some different trails, you know? It's not as popular. So you can really chill on the East Side. When are you coming to Canada? Yo, I don't, can you believe this? I've been to 58 countries and I've never been to Canada. Like I crossed the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean about 20 times and I never went to Canada. So I don't know when I'll ever go. Canada, one of those countries I just want to sneak in, you know? Like I don't want to use my passport. I want to just walk across the border like the Mex like, ooh, sorry. Like the people be coming to the US across the border. I want to do that in Canada. Yep. And then I'll probably get deported. But so what? I mean, you gotta get deported from some country, right? Americans hate Canadians. No, we don't. We don't hate Canadians. Oh, we got another female in the chat. Karen, you should go to Toronto. Toronto. Man, I would only go to Toronto if I, if I had somebody in Toronto invite me to come. Like, that's how I am with Canada. Like, if I... I'm not just gonna go go there and backpack. Like I'm just not gonna just show up and be like, "Hey guys, I'm in Canada." Like I gotta know somebody for that one. Yeah. Just because I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to Vancouver someday. Cause Vancouver is just right across the border. But like Toronto, like I gotta know some people. That's just how it is on that one. Vancouver is similar to Sydney. Oh, really? I've never been to Vancouver. Americans do not hate Canadians. I mean, I don't hate Canadians. Like, I love Canadians because when I don't when I don't meet Americans traveling, I meet a Canadian, and they sound just like Americans. Sorry to offend y'all Canadians watching, but y'all sound just like us. Y'all look just like us. Y'all get a lot of stuff from us. Um, let's just say that. Um, Let's just say that we share a similar culture. I didn't say that y'all was uh, stealing our culture, but let's just say that we share a similar culture. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> J 
Jermaine, come to Nazareth. Um, I've already been to Nazareth, actually. My friend I was with did not want to stay in Nazareth. He said, there's too many Arabs here. I don't want to say that. It sounds like it's, like, super racist, but, like, I don't really want to talk about it, but, like, I, I think he, some incident happened with him in Nazareth, so he wasn't a big fan of Nazareth. Canadians are just bootlegging Americans who talk weird. Yo, I'm gonna tell y'all something. Whenever I meet a Canadian, like whenever somebody say they're from Canada, I always get them shit. Be like, isn't Canada a part of the US? Or like, isn't that just another US state? Or like, you know, like four days ago, I just learned that Canada was a country. I just thought that was part of Alaska. Like I always do that. And Canadians be looking at me like, are you serious? And I'm like, no, I'm just joking, y'all. I'm just joking. 51st <laughs> state. Yes, Jesus, I'm a YouTube subscriber, and he's a... F we um, welcome Jesus to the stream. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Are you ever going to the Caribbean? You know, the thing with the Caribbean is... I'm going to explain to you guys why I don't really go to the Caribbean that much. Caribbean is kind of expensive to get to. So for the same price that I would fly from San Francisco to, like, Jamaica or Dominican Republic, I could go all the way to, like, Europe, you know? So I look at that, like, why would I pay $400 to take a six-hour flight or pay $400 to take... 12 hour flight or 11 hour flight so in that case i always take the longer flight you know i always go farther away what what i probably will do eventually is take a cruise take like a seven day cruise and we're like the boat docks here for a couple days and then docks there i'll probably do that but that won't include jamaica it'll include some of those little small caribbean islands you know islands that i wouldn't just book a flight and go to you know um so that's kind of my deal got my passport from watching your videos that's dope i love what that's what i want you to do i want you to get a pass but i want you to go travel i want you to make some amazing memories watching your videos i lived in paris and istanbul so far thanks bro that's what's up hey y'all go travel hey i know you got your passport you got your first passport but what i want you to do is i want you to like travel so much or you fill it up and then you have to go apply for your second passport that's what i inspire all y'all to do get on your second passport but first, just get the first one, take your first trip, you know, and then go on and go on from there. Right, so a question. I'm just going to ask y'all this in a live stream. So I was thinking about Patreon because I know a lot of people, they want to, like, they want to donate money on Patreon, okay? The problem with Patreon is, I don't know if you guys know, but, like, Patreon takes, like, 30 or 40%. So if you donate like if you donate like take ten dollars a month, they're gonna take like another problem with Patreon. If if you guys are all on Patreon, like you you you're gonna expect something out of me, you know? Like you're gonna you're gonna expect something extra, like extra live streams or extra super chats or stuff like that. So what I've come up with is something a little bit better than Patreon, something that I can control a little bit more. And I want to know what y'all think about it. So my idea was that you would just pay me through the cash app, right? You would pay me through the cash app. You would send me your address through an Instagram DM. And you would give me the time that you paid through the cash app. Then from there, I would send you like a postcard from a particular place that I'm in. Now, I get it. Um, now, now, the postcards would be like this. It would be like anywhere from $20 to $25. You send $20, $25, you send to the cash app. And then from there, I send you a postcard. Now, a lot of people might say that's a lot of money to pay for a postcard, but it's not just paying for a postcard. It's sort of, it's sort of like, um, sort of contributing to the channel, sort of helping Jermaine out, just like people would on Patreon. But the thing with Patreon, Patreon takes a, it takes a they take a large percent, you know. So I think I would rather 
do the postcard method. And if people, and it could be like a level to it, where like, yeah, $20 gets you a postcard, but then if you, if you send like $40, it would get you a postcard, and it would also get you like 30 to you. You know, we can talk, we can chit chat, you, you know, you can ask questions and stuff like that. And then from there, we could, um, you know, we could, we could do it this way. This could be another way that you guys can contribute and you can help out without going through the Patreon route. Because I've been talking about Patreon for, for years now, and I haven't did it because it's just, it's kind of tricky. Like, they take a lot of money, and it's just a whole different platform, and yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about the postcard method? Do I miss Memphis? I do miss Memphis. It's fun. What up, Eric Johnson? You always in stream. What do you think of Macedonian girls? Bro. I freaking love Macedonian girls, like, no joke, like, I do, like, no joke, I do, but I will say this, like, I'm not, any girl I'm talking to, I'm not gonna put them in a video, because I'm done with that, like, I'm to the point, any girl I talk to, I don't even want to put them on Facebook, like, I'm supposed to hang out with this chick later tonight, and I was thinking, like, how I can take a photo with her, but she can send this way, so, like, you can't see her face, you know? <laughs> You can always see it from the back because I don't even want to share my like love life on social media anymore. I'm done with it, yo. Cause people come out, people come out and like they be coming to get you, yo. They be hating on you, especially when they see you with like someone cool, you know. And they're sitting at home like, I don't have that, so I don't even want to show off anymore. Yo, thanks for the super chat. I don't even know what currency this is. Is that dollars or what? It looks like a dollar. Yo, thanks for the super chat, yo. Want my extra one wheel free? I don't want a one wheel, yo. But thanks for throwing out a free one wheel, but I, like, don't want one. I don't want to break my ankles. Damn, did you move to Macedonia? Um, I didn't move to Macedonia, but I'm still here. It's kind of like I moved here. Oh, it's Australian. Oh, so that's the Australian dollar. Okay, thanks. I didn't know. I just wasn't used to the, the A popping up there. Um, would you ever think of living in Macedonia forever? You know, I could live there for a little bit. For me, backpacker is not the most ideal, logistical point of the world to like travel to other countries I live in. So I don't exactly want to live here. Probably one of those logistical places to travel to a lot of places would be would be Hong Kong Would probably be Kuala Lumpur Or Paris like places with like massive airports where a lot of flights come in and out So it would be like those three cities um, <laughs> You guys are funny in this stream y'all I can't even read I don't even want to say Dude, get out of there. Why should I leave? You guys don't like it? It's like paradise here. I love it, yo. <laughs> Do you know the history of Yugoslavia? I know some of it. But, like, I'm going to keep it real. Like, I ain't got to the point now where I've, tr I've traveled. Like, I've been traveling, like, a minute. And I don't really care about the history as much. I don't really care about... Um, I don't really care about the nature as much. I don't really care about the touristy stuff so much. Like, it's almost like I'm just living, like experiencing the culture, experiencing the food, experiencing the country, experiencing the cities, like all of the other stuff just to come up, you know? Like seeing the, the architect and all that, it's just like, it, it's cool, but, nah, well, that's what I like. I like seeing like that sort of things, like architect and all that, but I don't really care as much about museums and stuff like that unless i'm in like western eastern western western europe but like here it's just too much history yo i don't want my head to get too big with all this knowledge and history and all, all that um where do you meet these girls you meet girls all all over you can just walk down the street and meet girls yo um but i usually meet girls out or on tinder but Tinder is a lot of flakes, and Tinder is a good place if you want to meet other travelers. But meeting other travelers, um, that's pretty chill. But here, I would rather meet freaking locals. 
I'd rather meet locals here. One thing I have noticed about other travelers here, by this being such a small country, people don't stay here that long. They usually just go through here and maybe stay for two days or three days. Cause like most people staying at this uh, guest house I'm staying at, most people only stay for like, I would say the average person stayed two, three days. And they, they don't usually stay too long. But like in a place like Romania, I mean, a lot of people are staying for weeks, you know? Any more thoughts on the group trip? On um, staying in hostels every week? I'll give you guys some, I'll get you guys some more information on the group trip very soon. Oh, that's what's up, that's what's up. Oh, you guys heard that motorcycle that passed by? Yeah, that was a pretty loud bike, right? <laughs> How did I find the guest house? Oh, I'm booking. Booking.com. You guys should check out booking.com. It's a very good website to um to book things. Do you ever get bored of Macedonia? You know, sometimes I do. Not much though. The first the first week, the first two weeks, I kind of got a little bored. But now I don't really get bored. I mean, because I like know a lot of people now. I know a bunch of Americans over there. I know a couple of locals. Know a lot of, know a bunch of people at the guest house. Like it's super chill now. Like I, I really like it. What up, Israel? Like it's so many Israelis in here. Y'all be representing, yo. Y'all want me to come to Israel, right? I would love to come to Israel, but it's too hot there right now. It's way too hot. I'm not trying to burn up. Is it still rocket season in Israel? Y'all still throwing bombs back and forth over the fence and stuff. Cause I know, like, this is about that time of the year. Cause I would love to go hang out with Jenny. Yes, come. I mean, is that yes? It is still rocket season, or yes, just come to Israel. <laughs> I mean, it would be cool to go to a rocket season though. It's hot. Is it? It's probably about forty degrees. Forty, right? Hanoi to visit. I'm definitely going to visit. Hanoi. Um, I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to Yeah, I'll see you I'll see you later. Peace out. Um, any racism, Jermaine, people seem very friendly there. So like racism, I don't know, that's such a that's such a, a a broad question to answer. Like I haven't noticed any racism here. But also I don't see any black people here. So like I haven't experienced like any racism here. But like how, how do you dis one thing I one thing I want to know is how do people distinguish racism? Like, if you go into a restaurant, and if I'm the only black person, and someone, you know, the waiter is like, the waiter has an attitude. Does she have an attitude? You have to ask yourself this question. Does the waiter have an attitude because I'm black? Or does the waiter have an attitude just because the waiter just happens to have an attitude, and I just happen to be there? So it can just be a very difficult thing to, um, to distinguish racism, you know? Did that person just have a bad day? Or does that person not like you because of the country you're from? You know? Now, that is still racism, but that's not necessarily black racism. That's racism because they don't like your country, or they don't like you, or they don't like your culture, or whatever. So, I really haven't experienced like any of that here. Um, I mean, the only place I experienced racism in was that country that I visited in the Middle East. I would say that that was more like... That was more like, that was like racism, you because know, it was straight profiling. It's like, you came from South Africa, okay, go over here, you know? And it's like, damn, okay. I don't have anything to declare, you know? And then I just, they kept asking a bunch of questions and they finally let me go, you know? So that, that, that but here I haven't experienced any of that. I mean, don't get me wrong, like old people will look at you crazy. But I don't think they're necessarily looking at you like, like, oh, I don't like this black person. I think they're looking at you like, what the fuck? Is that a black person? Like, you know, it's, the, it's not on TV, like, it's walking down the street. And I don't think that that's really racist. I think that's just, people just don't know and I ain't ever seen, you know? When are you going? I don't know, like, next month, yo, for sure.
you made me less nervous to visit Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe's a jewel, yo. Like I'm telling you, I'd rather come if it's not if it's not UK or Germany, I'd rather come to Eastern Europe. Cause look, I like Europe. Europe's chill, but like a lot of countries in Europe are mad whack. Like they are like like Spain, like it's real expensive. Like people kind of racist. Italy, it's a shithole, yo. Like straight up, you watching this from Italy? Check this out. Your country is a shithole, yo. I do not like your country. I mean, I like Gucci and all that. Y'all got some amazing pizza, and y'all got really nice trains, but. Some of them trains people literally smoke on the train, yo. So like, Italy is one I don't even want to really want to deal with. In Greece, I've never been to Greece, but I can only imagine. <laughs> I can just only imagine like it's one of them European countries in the heat, you know. So, but yeah, the, I I want to check out. I really want to check out. I want to go back to Norway, yo, because I think Norway would be dope. Because I don't hear people talking about Norway because it costs so much. Like everybody talk about the cheap places. But like maybe Norway, but that's one of those countries like Canada. If I go there, I want to know someone. Like I don't want to just be roaming around there, like alone. Let me see. Let me read some of y'all comments. So guys, I'm gonna keep this going for like maybe 15 more minutes. You're in Oslo, bro. You're in Oslo? Like, if you're in Oslo, I might, I may come through Oslo on this trip. Because flights from Oslo to Oakland aren't that bad. And then flights from London to Oslo are, like, almost free. Yeah, but I remember Oslo. No, it's Sweden. That's Stockholm. Never mind. You don't live in Oslo. Where, where you live at? Fix that beard, bro. I'm just probably gonna shave it. Like, it's just mad growing out, right? My beard is mad crazy. I'm welcome anytime. What do you do in Norway? Did you visit the, the city of Tivejo? T2V? T2V? Tivero. Um, no, I haven't visited it. Is that the one near the the water, the lake? Oh, that's cool. Are you going to Siberia? I don't know. Probably not on this trip. Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah. How about Cyprus? Not on this trip. No, no, not on this trip. Yeah, hit me up on Facebook. Hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. Because like a lot of times when I'm on Instagram, I, I spend I send messages to um to people that send messages to me. You're in a hotel. Can you turn the video around so we can see Macedonia? Well, I don't exactly want to show you guys where I'm sitting at right now. That's why I don't want to turn the video around. But you know, what I will do, what I will do is um, maybe the next live stream, I'll, I'll walk around the city and do a live stream. I think that that would be very entertaining because there's always like tons of people out on the street. And if I walk through and do a live stream, like, it's going to draw so much attention. Switzerland, Switzerland's pretty dope, yo. You're going to tropical North Queensland, any suggestions? I heard a lot of people say go to Cairns. But when I was in um, Australia, I didn't do Cairns because it was, it was far north and, like, I, I don't know. Australia was a different place, yo. Like, I want to go back to Australia so bad. But I want to go with someone else. Like, I would love to go with someone else because it, Australia is like very clickish. Like, it's very, very clickish. But it, it I don't know. Out, out of out of South Africa or Australia, I can't tell you which one looks 
was better. Because they're both like in that southern region of the planet. And the, it, oh man, they're both like amazing. I want to go see more in South Africa. No, um, not South Africa, Australia. I want to see more in South Africa too. I got my boy coming next month. We're going to shoot the golf scene and take this crazy ass skydiving and get a tattoo. We doing all that. <laughs> um, Jermaine, would you consider visiting Tanzania? You know, so this is what's gonna go down next year. I'll probably go to like Vietnam in like January, if not December. And I'll just stay in Vietnam maybe a month or two months. Vietnam's a super small place. And then from Vietnam, I don't exactly know if I'm gonna stay in Southeast Asia because I guess Laos and Cambodia, I've never been to Laos and Cambodia, so maybe I could go to Laos and Cambodia after Vietnam. But then after that, I would have really hit all those countries in Southeast Asia. So maybe I'll go to Africa. But the thing about Africa is, I was talking to a guy that went to Africa and he didn't take the malaria pills, right? And he got malaria when he was in Africa and everything was cool, he lived through it. But when you get malaria, it stays in your body for like a couple months, right? So when he got back to the US, he had like some malaria in his body and he had an outbreak of malaria in the US. And he said that it cost him like so much money to get treated. Now, if he would have had that outbreak in Africa, it wouldn't have cost him as much because of the, the, the healthcare system. And Africa is like much cheaper. And here in the, U in the US, he had to go through like all this treatment and all that. And they, they treat you different for malaria in Africa versus in the US. In the US, they're gonna have your ass hooked up to machines and they're gonna have like doctors coming in and out of the room. They're gonna have you stand in the hospital for a week. In Africa, man, it ain't like that. They gonna tell you, they gonna give you some tea, and they gonna give you a little shot in your, in your your finger, and they gonna tell you to go lay down, you know, and you'll be good, you know. And it won't cost fifty thousand dollars or something. So homie was like, he got sick, you know, and he had a really bad time. So what I was thinking is, if I do do the Africa, do if I do the Africa trip. What I'd have to do is, I'd have to travel through all these malaria places and probably possibly get malaria some, somewhere along the line. And then after I do that, I wanna stay somewhere else in Africa for like three or four months. So if I do get another malaria outbreak, I won't have to be treated in the US. I could be treated in like South Africa somewhere. And that, that's what I would do. I'd probably go to South Africa, Botswana, and maybe in one of those countries there's no malaria there but then if i got malaria there it would be much cheaper to get treated or i guess i could take malaria pills <laughs> you know <laughs> i guess i could do that or i could have another excuse to stay in south africa, south africa for three more months and travel around south africa why i'm getting the malaria out of my body and that's if i got malaria traveling in eastern africa because what if i didn't get malaria so it's just a lot of what ifs. Did any of that make any sense to y'all? Or am I just like speaking hot air right now? You need to go for a beer when you come to UK. I live in Southampton and I'm moving to Manchester in September. Oh, you live in Southampton. Oh. Jermaine, would you ever travel on a motorcycle? You know, no. traveling on a motorcycle would be sick. It would be sick. But I don't know if I could do a motorcycle just because I'm so afraid of getting robbed. So, like, I wouldn't want to do a motorcycle. But I see people traveling on motorcycles all the time, you know? I like the way you think. I can travel to the Grand Canary Islands. There's no way I can take a train to the Canary Islands. <laughs> they saw a question how much is a bus ticket or a train ticket from london to liverpool and then how long does it take or do or do people fly there or do people go to manchester on oh, 25 pounds how long does it take like five hours and listen
Um, oh, you guys are back. Someone's talking. Hey, so guys, I'm, I'm going to end this stream in like two minutes, okay? Because I got to go do something. But Because I know it's going to keep cutting off, so I'm just going to go ahead and end it. But I was just going to go over some of these. Yeah, that's about it. I was just laughing at this comment talking about Macedonian population. That's just something I wouldn't just think about. Jennifer D. traveling to the... Oh, that's going to be dope. Where are you going? I'm going down to me. Pretty much. Do you communicate with your family? That's a good question. I do communicate with my family. I don't talk to my brother as much um, because my brother, he can be a little hard on me sometimes. You know, he's like, come back home, move home, do this, do that. But um, I talk to my mom quite often, you know. Probably every now and then. But my mom's a pretty busy woman. Like, she does this, she does that, you know. But, like, we live in different places. Like, she lives in Memphis, and Memphis is, like, what? 2,000 miles, like, 3,000 kilometers away. So I don't really go home as much. But I will go home when I, when I, the next time, I, when the next time I'm back in my country, I'll go home. But it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Maybe I'll call my mama after the stream. Yeah, maybe I'll call her after the stream. Yo, everybody, hit that thumbs up on this video. Thumbs up on this video, yo, for real. If y'all want to see another live stream from your boy Jermaine, give me a thumbs up. Let's see how many thumbs up is on here. See, I got smart with y'all. I have this phone on, but it's not coming up now. Yes, call your mom. I will. She probably sitting around talking, eating some food, drinking a Coca Cola or something like that. See, it's thirty six of y'all. Y'all need to hit that, hit that thumbs up right now. Hit that thumbs up. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's warm right now. Peace out. So let's go ahead and end this stream because I'm, I'm just going on and on. So I'm out. I'll see y'all later. So thumbs up. Yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. I might be juggling balls on a bike riding down a hill. So you never know. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Oh, call your mama too. Yeah, call your mama. Yeah, always call your mama.